Hey everybody, welcome back to microbeerreviews.com. Tonight we are going to do a beer review for you um, from the Foothills Brewing Company um, out of uh, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Um, this is their Pilot Mountain Pale Ale. Um, this is an interesting beer because um, this is on their, their seasonal list. It's only available from February to April. I got this in a multi-12 pack, which they're doing now, which is awesome. Um, but with that being said, um, I had never seen it before. So it's seasonal on the side here. Um, it's got a, a nice little write-up on the website. Um, ABVs are 5.5%. IBUs are 52, which for a pale ale, not an IPA, um, that's pretty high. Most are in the mid-30s-ish, maybe low 40s, but pushing 52 here. So pretty excited about that. Um, I do love me some hops. Um, so Pilot Mountain, the name of the beer is named after a mountain in North Carolina. Um, it's a, uh, this is, is deemed as a classic American pale ale with British, British pale malts. Um, it's got Cascade and Mosaic um, hops in it, which I think is really cool. Um, Mosaic typically land in IPAs that are real tropical. Um, and Cascade, to me, lands into more of a what I call a West Coast Pioneer uh, IPA. Uh, but in this case, obviously a pale ale. So this is going to be an interesting combination. I did not cheat. I have not had this yet. Um, again, uh, limited availability. But again, it's also something where um, if I were to get a brand new beer like this in a multi-12 pack, you know, I think you get you know three of them. It's pretty cool. So let's get it into the glass. I can already smell the mosaic hops, actually. It's going to be interesting. Um, it's got what I would call that traditional kind of Kind of more orangish color. More, it looks like an IPA as well. I'm trying to make this an IPA if you can't tell. A um, little bit of carbonation, crystal clear white frothy head on it. Um, quite a bit of carbonation actually. Um, but it definitely has kind of an orange tint. I know the lighting is not phenomenal. Um, smells, kind of smells great. You can smell the mosaic hops. It's orangish, it's grapefruit. Um, it's, it's very um, nectarine-ish. It's got a lot of just very fresh, um, fresh citrus juices that are coming out. Um, it tastes great. It tastes, it smells phenomenal. Um, it, this is one of their better smelling beers. I like a lot of their beers and I know they're not widely distributed, um, but I'm, where we live on the East Coast, it's really easy to get them. Um, but it, to me, it tastes a little bit like a toned down Jade that they make. Um, I think Jade's got a little bit of booziness to it. This one definitely doesn't. So. Anyway, enough talking. Cheers. Let's get into the glass. It drinks like a pale ale, which is what it should. Um, it's got a, the, 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 that malty backbone, that British malts that they talked about in the description. Definitely can taste those. Um, it's got a nice balance to it. it. It's fruity, but not nearly as much as it smells, which it shouldn't. Pale ales shouldn't drink like IPAs. That's not what they are. Um, this definitely drinks more like a pale ale. It's got a little bit more malt background to it, a little bit more caramel to it. Um, it's got a, a nice mouth feel to it. It's um, a kind of a medium body. Finishes, though, with very fresh um, hoppy flavor. So it's kind of a little bit of the fruit, a little bit of sugar, and a nice little bit of hop. Um, the finish is great. Um, this is extremely drinkable. I think that a lot of pale ales uh, are, are kind of harsh. Um, they, they just, they're just they not real smooth and um, they just don't have a lot of the, the, the thirst quenching characteristics that I think a lot of really good IPAs do. This one is probably one of the better pale ales I've had in a long time. Now I'm partial to Mosaic Hops and this, this kind of blend, but I mean, I think this is one of, one of the better ones done uh, in 2017. So we rate our beers between one and five. I would give this probably a four which is pretty darn good for me to grade a, uh, a pale ale, maybe even a four and a half, because it is exactly what it says it is, and they did a very good job brewing it and replicating it. So if you tried the old Pilot Mountain Pale Ale at Foothills Brewing Company in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, please leave comments on our YouTube channel or our website, microbeerviews.com. We upload all the time. We do appreciate you watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel.